Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Mr. Buzuzi, I want to mention that it's honor and pleasure at the same time hosting you in Fort Georgia office. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity and I am, I am honored and I'm very happy and pleased to be here. Thank you so much. Uh, tell us about your story, about your engagement with Gulf Hotels Group. It began in 1971. I, if I tell you the story, it is too long, but uh, uh, in a brief, I, uh, a friend of mine said, my cousin is going to open a hotel mm. in Bahrain. And uh, why you don't talk to him? So by the time they opened the hotel, that was for Hilton Hotel. It's the first but, one. Yes. By the time they opened Hilton, they will ha have enough time to train you. Whoa. I said, that, that's a good idea, uh, uh, but I know nothing about hotel. In those days, I was a school teacher. He said, well, we have enough time. Yes. I said, before I attend an interview, how can I learn about hotel? Uh, Hospitality because, business exactly, in general. Exactly, so yeah. when I go and talk, I, what the hell I'm gonna talk about, <laughs> I don't know. So I, I Called the general manager of Gulf Hotels office, secretary, and asked for an appointment. So when the interview is over, he said to me, in which newspaper you are going to publish this interview? And your answer was? <laughs> I said, sir, what, inter what newspaper? He said, you are interviewing me for what? I said, I'm interviewing you for myself to, to learn about the hotel industry. He said, you wasted one and a half hour for my, for my time for yourself. I said, I'm sorry, but she did not ask me if I am a journalist or not. Now you tell me why this interview. I said, the truth, a friend of mine. You told the purpose why you from, were there. Yeah, yeah. From, from the Ishaq family is planning to bring Hilton and I want to attend an interview but I have to learn something about the hotel. That's why I call on you. He said, send off again. He said, as well, you are putting rules. I said, no, no, I'm not putting any rules, but I'm just saying it. He said, we are sending Bahrainis to study in England, catering and hotel management in Brighton. So here we come, start, got the chance to have a scholarship uh, went to Brighton in England since 1971 until today. today. I used to work at the hotel. I start as a student until I reach the top helm of the helm, uh, chief executive officer. Mr. Bazuzi, uh, what is Gulf Hotels Group for at least last three decades? while you were finalizing your job as a CEO and transforming as a board member and advisor to the chairman. How it has been transformed and uh, progressed, let me say so. In short, we start the Gulf Hotel with 125 rooms. Today, the Gulf Hotel as a hotel, the tower and the south wing, 364 rooms with 101 hotel apartments. I'm talking about the compound where the hotel located. 
and the largest convention center attached to a single hotel in Bahrain that can accommodate 2,000 over for reception and cocktails and whatever, and 1,005 to 1,008 and sit down. And the only hotel in Bahrain that have 10 authentic various restaurants, be it international cuisine, Italian, Japanese, Indian, fusion, Thai, uh, Mexican, uh, Iranian, any taste we will satisfy for the uh, uh, customer and the guest. And then we built another apartment hotel outside and we bought another hotel in Dubai, Gulf Court Hotel, all under Gulf Hotel umbrella. Add to that uh, two hotels in Bahrain we manage, Gulf Hotel Management, and, and one in, uh, in Zanzibar, and Zanzibar also, and hopefully the fourth one coming in uh, Tbilisi, which we are really looking forward to that. So my hopes and uh, my idea of uh, meeting you uh, was on the same page. Uh, tell me the day when you, as a board member and as a part of this business group, learned about Georgia, about the possibility entering Georgian Tbilisi hospitality market. How, how, how that happened? We did not learn. I approach a friend. Okay. Here in Georgia, Victor. I said, Victor, I see many Gulf people coming to Georgia. And I heard it's a re lifestyle is reasonable, good lifestyle, not too far from the Gulf countries. Nice, clean, green, affordable. I said, I, I am keen as a hotelier working for the Gulf Hotel, responsible for business development, to explore the opportunities that you have. And maybe I am lucky to find a hotel to manage for the Gulf Hotel Group. He said, OK, I'll do my homework. And he did do his homework. Uh, good old son, Victor. We agreed. I came to, to visit him in Tbilisi. And uh, he introduced me to few hotels, uh, four star smaller than what we were lucky for. And among the people he introduced me, he said, I must introduce you to the, the man that on the top of the helm for the hotel and the hospitality in Georgia. And Our friend. And it was Shalva? And it was Shalva. So that's the day I met that man, and my life is in a mess. <laughs> in <laughs> Georgian mess, <laughs> finally. And that was the key, uh, the key talk points with Dr. Nodar Georgadze. Yes. Mm -hmm. my, uh, my last question is about your vision in regards of the resort which is going to be taken under the management of Gulf Hotel Resorts. How do you see it? I know that, uh, and everybody knows that it's four ranked, I mean, four star hotel complex. At the same time, Gulf Group is offering five star service to it. How does it match and how it will go, please? Well, the beauty here, our standard of service is five star. Though we, the rest of the ranking hotels that we have in our portfolio are four star. But the style of service we offer at the Gulf Hotel Bahrain, which is five star, will be implemented in Tbilisi four star building, four star maybe room facilities, 
but five star service. I tell you, this something we are very proud of as a single hotel in Bahrain. We are not international chain. We do not have the backing and the support of international chain reservation system. We don't have the political support to, get, to gain and secure majority of government business. And yet, the Gulf Hotel as an individual hotel beating and competing with the top line uh, international, international, international hotel chains. So that will be implemented in Georgia. And it will be, it will be, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be the hotel, the hotel talked about, not only as a hotel and rooms, but our aim to introduce a strong, tasty food and beverage outlets to offer the Georgian a new taste of uh, food, the variety of food, though, though the space is limited to have two restaurants, yes. one will be all day dining and one will be our plan to have Lebanese, authentic Lebanese, but yet every now and then, hopefully with the management, we will run different food weeks where we bring the taste from those restaurants at home to Georgia and hopefully be the Mecca for the Georgians in Tbilisi. Thank you so much and good luck. We'll see you soon. Thank you, sir. I look forward. And thank you for giving thank you me so the much. opportunity. Thank you. The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most.